Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I am going to explain about interfacing of multiple seven segment displays. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So here it is the physical view of the seven segment display. So here we have seven segments are there. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So additionally, this dot point is provided for this seven segment display. So total here we have eight segments are there, but majorly we will use here these seven segments. So that is why we are calling this one as a, a seven segment display. So here I am going to explain a program. That program will display a word that is attitude. So here A T T I T U D E. This is the word. attitude so i want to display this word attitude on these multiple seven segment display so here for displaying this a character here this a b c d e g will be turned on and the segment f will be turned off so that it looks like a a character a and at the same time to display this t character here f g e d will be turned on and a b c segments are turned off so it looks like a a character t so like that i want to display the word attitude on these seven segment displays so here it is the hexadecimal numbers which are equivalent to display the a word attitude so here for displaying the character a on the seven segment display here a b C D E G segments are turned on and F segment and H segment will be turned off so that is why here to display the character A here the equivalent hexadecimal number is that 5 F so nothing but 0 1 0 1 1 and 1 1 1 1 that is here A B C D E G segments are turned on and F segment and H segment will be turned off so that is why here A B C D E and g will be turned on and the f segment is turned off here so that here f equal to 0 that is the segment will be turned off and h is also turned off so in this program here we are not using this uh, uh, dot point here that is nothing but segment h so that will be turned off always so like that to display the character t here f g e d will be turned on and remaining a b c will be turned off so here a b c will be turned off and remaining all segments will be turned on and h is also zero so here to display this word attitude here these are the equivalent hexadecimal numbers there is for a it is 5f for t it is 78 and i it is 04 and for u it is 3e and for d it is 5e and for e it is 5b so if you use these hexadecimal numbers within this program you can display the word attitude on seven segment displays so here it is the interfacing diagram here port b is using for driving this uh, seven segment display and uh, this port a is used for digit driver that is here this port a is connected to all these transistors here that is from q8 to q1 so these transistors are the pnp transistor that is if you are giving logic zero to this uh, pnp transistor then the transistor q8 will be turned on that is giving zero to the base of uh, this pnp transistor the transistor will be turned on so to turn on these segments here we are using the transistors from q8 to q1 so the base terminals of all these transistors are connected to this port a pins correspondingly that is e1 is connected to the q1 transistor and e2 is connected to the q2 transistor and e3 is connected to the transistor q3 te base terminal like the terminal e8 is connected to the transistor q8 of the base terminal so the port a is used to turn on this particular transistor so that the particular seven segment display will be turned on and here this port b is used to display the a corresponding character on these seven segment display for example here i given within the program that is 5f for example i want to display character a on the seven segment display so the equivalent hexadecimal number is here it is 5f that is 0101 1111 so if i given this 5f hexadecimal number to this port b then the character a will be displayed on these seven segment displays so when we want to display the character a on these particular seven segment display for example select this one 
so here I'm giving that 5f here to this uh, port B then I want to display the character A on these uh, seven segment display for example I want to display the character A on this seven segment display so that I have to give that base 0 to the transistor Q8 so when I am giving the logic 0 to the base of the transistor Q8 then this 5F nothing but the character A will be displayed on this seven segment display so for example a given 0 here also for the transistor Q7 also then the character A will be also displayed here so if I give in transistor Q6 also 0 then the same character A will be displayed here that is so port B is connected to all these segments so here when the particular transistor Q is turned on then we can see that the particular character on that 7 segment display so here we have to change the logic at port A and we have to change the logic at port B then only we can display the word attitude on all these 7 segment display that is we have to turn on this Q8 to display A and we will have to change the port B data to the value 78 hex then here we have to give the 78 hex and we have to turn on this transistor Q7 then the T will be displayed at this segment that is a seventh segment so again I want to display here T on transistor Q6 so here I have to turn on this Q60 and again I have to give the 78 hexadecimal number at port B so like that I have to change the logic at port A and at the same time I have to change the input at port B so the changing of logic at port A and port B should be done in parallel so that we can display the word attitude on these seven segment displays so now we will see the program so that you can understand very easily so here the program is written for display the word attitude so here I am defining the, the control word register port A and port B addresses as C6 C0 and C2 so this is the port B address C2 and port A address is C0 and control word register address is C6 and here I am defining the table that is as a defined byte that is this 5F representing that A and this 78 representing the T again 78 representing the T here and 04 representing that I and next 78 representing the T and this 3E representing that U and 5E representing that D and 70B representing that E so completely we can represent A T T I T U D E that is nothing but attitude so this table is nothing but we can say that lookup table so now here I'm writing that move AL comma ATH and out CR comma AL that is this ATH is moved into AL and now out CR comma AL means here the value AT is moved into the control word register of A255 so when the control word register contains the hexadecimal value AT then we can represent that AT as 100 zero zero, that is nothing but uh, 8 and 0 0 0 0 representing that 0 so totally here this is 8 and here it is 0 that is here this 1 0 0 0 and this 0 0 0 0 representing that 0 so when it is like that that A to double phi is in IO mode of operation and next uh, 0 0 nothing but port A is in mode 0 and when it is 0 here port A is output port and here port C upper is output port and here port B is in mode 0 and the port B is a output port and port C lower is also output port that is here when you are writing the control word as AT then the A to double five is in IO mode of operation and all ports acts like a output ports because in this program here in interfacing port A and port B are acting as a output ports so now this AL comma ATH and out CR comma AL nothing but a to double phi is in IO mode and all ports are IO ports next uh, we will go for this one load effective address of SI comma table that is the here the lookup table address will be loaded into SI and next uh, move CX comma 8 representing that here we are using that 8 characters A T T I T U D E 8 characters so that is why here we are taking the count value as uh, 8 and next uh, move BL comma 0 1 1 1 and 1 1 1 1 we are taking that so here the MSB bit here it is 0 nothing but the transistor Q8 first the transistor Q8, Q8 will be 
turn on so for that we are loading the first value as 0 1 1 1 and 1 1 1 1 and move al comma bl that is the bl value loaded into al and next after that out port a comma al that is here the port a now will contain the value 0 1 1 1 and 1 1 1 1 this is nothing but here the port a now is used to turn on the transistor q8 because this msb bit is 0 after that move al comma si so here that si is in square brackets so the content of si is moved into that al so here the si initially contains the address of the table so in that table address the first value is 5f that will be moved into al here next out port b comma al that is the value of uh, 5f is moved to port b so here we will make it as a call delay so there is some delay so now at port b we have the hexadecimal value 5f which is the nothing but to display the character a so here this pnp transistor will be turned on so the character a here 5f which is displaying the character a on this 8th 7 segment display and next uh, increment si so the si value will be incremented by one value so the next incrementing value will contain the value as a 78h so before that one we have to make that rotate right bl comma 1 so when you are rotating this one here so here the first value we got the 0 1 1 and 1 1 1 1 so this representing that the q8 transistor will be turned on when you are going for rotate right then this will move to this position so here this is 1 0 1 1 and 1 1 1 1 so here the 0 will be moved by step 1 in right side so here like that so now the q7 transistor will be turned on so already here we are making that increment si so when you are making that increment si so here the si value will be incremented so the incremented value will contain the value of 78h there is nothing but to display the character t and after that we will go for rotate bl comma 1 nothing but to turn on the transistor q7 we are rotating right bl comma 1 and after that we are going for the loop agn there is nothing but here we are taking the count value as uh, cx equal to 8 so here uh, we will repeat this program until the cx value equal to 0 that is why this program again will be repeated and the program control is jump to agn here so now move al comma bl so already bl value is rotated by one value to the right side so this value will be loaded to al and after that out pa comma al that is port a comma al so this value moved to port a so that the transistor q7 will be turned on and after that move al comma the content of si so here the already the si value is incremented by one so now the 78h will be moved to port b so now the character t will be displayed on seventh display so here this transistor q7 will be turned on and here we can see that the character t on this seven segment display again we will go for the call delay so that is nothing but here for some time the character t will be displayed some time and after that increment si the value of si will be incremented again by one so now the incremented value will contain the value of 78 h rotate right bl comma one that is nothing but now the zero will be moved to right side so one zero one 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 now the transistor q6 will be turned on and uh, loop again so here the cx value will be decremented by one again so first cx value is uh, eight for displaying the character t the cx will be decremented by one so here cx value equal to seven again to display the character t on display six the transistor q6 will be turned on and uh, cx value will be decremented by one so like that here till the cx value equal to zero the loop will be repeated so here to complete the word attitude till that the loop will be repeated that is uh, the loop will be repeated up to the count value cx equal to zero because here the count value is taken as a cx equal to eight because here the attitude contains that eight characters so all these characters will be displayed so at the time the count value equal to zero we'll go for the next instruction jump start that is the program again goes to 
the first instruction of this program so here again load effective address uh, si comma table again the same program will be uh, repeated so like that the program is used to display the word attitude on this seven segment display so here this is the delay program this is the delay program here delay procedure we are using that near procedure and move dx comma 300 decrement so the value will be decremented by 1 so that we got that hexadecimal value as 2 f f and j and z back that is jump not 0 that is here dx value is not 0 so again it will go for this back so like that the loop will be till the value of dx equal to 0 the loop will be repeated so that within this main program the character will be displayed for some time after that we will go written back so this is about the program to display the word attitude on these multiple seven segment displays so this is the example which is displaying that the numbers one two three here so if you see this one the segment which is enabled then only here the particular number is displaying so here all the on all these lines the data is same if you observe this one here all these data that is for example one so here if you take that one and here one here one all these data will be same but the particular segment is enabled then only we can see that the particular number on that display okay so like this we are displaying multiple characters or numbers on these seven segment display if the switching speed of all these seven segment display is very fast then we can see that all the seven segment displays are turned on at the same time so this is nothing but our eye cannot identify the switching speed of these all these seven segment displays so that we feel that all the segments are turned on and the data can be displayed as continuously as one two three we will see so this is due to persistence of vision of our eye so thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education